The Wing's the Limit. Great, Wonder Wing. Cool. Oh, hello. Okay, fly. <laughs> well, we went from one rare game to another rare game. I don't know why, but I was expecting faster try. Yeah, this is cute. I like this. Especially the mini necky right there. Though, I think the right answer so far has just been to hold the button and go forward. Certainly the correct answer. <laughs> What? Okay, so hold up. You can slowly spin, and then you can leave the spin by, uh... Oh, God. Okay, it's like that. Okay, I get it. I get it. Interesting mechanic. It's kind of like motor skills, but not quite. Because you can cancel out of it. Anyway, for those of you who came in for Banjo, this is much more normal of a stream thing for me. I tend to do a lot of SMW stuff, because I'm a moderate on SMW Central, and uh, also whenever I don't actually have any good content remaining, I just pull out random level design contest levels. Though if we had voted for uh, Squigglebox, I probably would have gone for, um... No! For, like, playing Commander Keen or something. Let's also do this. It kind of worked. Kind of. I think this level uses ex a lot of Layer 3 nonsense. But thank you for the bit. I like to do integrations, but uh, Banjo was definitely not on the list of games that was going to make that cut. I'm certain it's possible to do USB nonsense with uh, the 64 EverDrive, but the way that Chris does his USB stuff is much more painful to work with. He's just looking at it as a uh, hardware person. I'm not imputing him by any means. It's just not the way I want to have to think about the world. And it requires very unique patches per game, as opposed to my sort of more generic ones. Like, this is an SA1, so it actually isn't doing any patching, really. Which is nice. I still like the mini neckies. They're nice. Message box did not look right. It's okay, there's other things. It's true. Yeah, I think there's probably, like, some Layer 3 nonsense. <laughs> I don't think Raymu looks right with the wings coming out of her head. But somehow it works. Uh, I still need to go and get the Knuckles stuff set up, too. It's so much easier when someone actually just gives you the sprite in a ROM to start off with, as opposed to, here, you've got to go patch it yourself. This is cute, though. I like the rainbow. Though it's only a five-color rainbow, which I think means it's an LJN rainbow. Which is not the ideal kind of rainbow. Alright, well, I guess we're going to be finding if the midway works shortly. Yep. But I think there's going to be a uh, mushroom, or a one-up door. No, there isn't. Huh. Well, at least not right here. I guess there could be one in the immediate spawning area of the next area, which is still a little weird, but... With rainbow discrimination? Yeah, there we go. There's the one-up pipe. Ah, oh, what a wonderful, simple vanilla mechanic. A one-up door. Slash pipe. Look, I'm okay discriminating against LJN. LJN makes a lot of shitty games. It's just their nature. They can't help it. In fact, LGN was probably just the clearinghouse of, like, random crap that no one wanted, in terms of publishing. I guess I'm up here now. Uh... I win! Well, that was dumb. Make, well, yeah, publishing. Yeah. Like I said, clearing house of games that were not terribly good. 
I kind of wish I just killed the character instead of doing that, because I really did want to see the next section. Now, the nice thing about this, and the way they've set it up, though, is that because it was a one-up door as opposed to another mechanism, I think I can just kind of breeze through the first part of the level. Um, assuming I can breeze through the first part of the level. And then I can go directly to the third part via the door, or the pipe. I'm certain that bit of clipping wasn't intentional. Like, that would, that would be really silly if it was. I, did, I definitely did not mean to do that. It's a thing that just happened. Oddly enough, the game supported it, which is weird, but, you know, these things happen. But like I said, we can actually do the third section legitimately now, because the first section's short, and the one-up door says one-up. It's an interesting little interaction that wasn't well known for a long time, but basically, in vanilla Super Mario World, there's a few spots where if you touch, like, four tiles in a certain order, it spawns a one-up. Um... No! Oh god, no, 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 no. But, if you use those tiles to also, like, cover up a different spot that has, like, a door or pipe or something, um, then you can have that door or pipe spawn uh, show up after someone collects all of the four tiles that um, spawn the one up. And so basically it turns into a vanilla way to do a proper, like, extra checkpoint thing, which is nice. 40. Darn it. Either way, that was pretty short. Didn't intend that to be possible. Oh, absolutely. But slopes in Super Mario World are kind of broken, just in general. But yeah, everything about this was cute. I like the overworld. I like the concept. It was simple, but well executed. I bet this came somewhere in the middle if I had to make a guess about its ranking, because I don't actually know the ranking. Who made this? We can't see because I forgot to update the overlay. 